I was in such a rush this morning. Gretchen and I like were doing a bunch of video stuff last night. We were up until like 3.45 and then we had to get up at 7. So this morning was just a really huge rush for both of us. I didn't like feel like I had any time to vlog, which is okay because we literally just got into Florence and it's the morning. So Gretchen and I are going to walk around and find a little cute place to get breakfast. And I need coffee. But... Today's outfit, I feel like all of you guys are gonna be asking, even in my pictures, I don't know like where to, like I don't know where this is from. I literally oh, got it yeah. yesterday. Oh yeah, we got them at a random In um, Verona. But I got this really cute like nude, it's kind of like an oatmeal colored maxi dress. Oh, right. And I paired it with my white Gucci bag and my Gucci oh. slides because I was gonna wear the like Tory Burch. Oh, it's a midi dress, It's like sorry. in between, I feel like. It's like a long yeah, midi. Yeah, it's like a long midi, or maybe I'm just short <laughs> compared to these tall, lean European ladies <laughs> um, but anyway it looks so good because like with my gold jewelry and the gold sunglasses and tan I just like love neutral okay. colors so yeah but like I was saying before I got it in a little store in Verona but if I can find a link to their website and see if you can like buy stuff or even see if they have a website I'll look at the tag later like when I upload this video and I will let you guys know guys we found shake and this is the Asahibo place and it's so cute I cannot wait to see like what they have oh my god Finally came the course. I have to take a Snapchat, but I'm gonna try it right now. Wow, this spoon's like um, it's like a cool, heavy spoon. It's the same material as the bowl, but I got the dragon fruit run, and then there is fresh, like homemade granola, bananas, strawberries, and coconut. I got it with coconut water, so I'm gonna try it right now. See how it is. And Gretchen got acai. Is yours good? Really? Like better than your ones at I, like, home? Wasn't expecting it to be good, honestly. Really? <laughs> but it's really good. <laughs> I feel like they're so good because the fruit is so fresh here. Mm -hmm. So it's like so much better, and everything's fresh. Like the granola is, like obviously the coconut. I just feel like there's like no preservatives on anything, which makes it like so much better. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. Let's see. So much more like tasteful. So if you guys ever come to Florence, you need to come to Shake. So yummy. So we just finished up breakfast and like I was saying, I told Gretchen that I feel so different after eating that just because we haven't like eaten anything like that all trip. We've just been eating like pasta and bread and pizza and literally just all Italian food. Like our breakfast the past couple days have been croissants. And so it was so nice to like eat something from home. Like I was saying before, it was just so fresh. Like you never would have thought like acai bowls would be good in Italy just because that's so like not what you have when you like come here. They were so, so, so good. So if you guys are ever in Florence, you need to come and shake and you need to let me know how you like it on Instagram, like send me a message or whatever. And actually one of you guys who watched my videos like DM'd me and told me about it and I don't think, actually like I need to go back and look because I don't think I replied because I just like like to go through them really quickly. I was like rushing around and like when I see if people say like, oh you have to go here, then I'll like look at it. But whoever recommended that to us, seriously thank you because it was so good. Guys, we just got to the Gucci Museum since it's like created in Florence. And so Marcus, if you're watching this, I'm gonna be thinking of you the whole time. So I think we're gonna go inside. We don't know like what the deal is and like 
if you have to pay and stuff, so we're gonna go check that out right now. Oh my god. Wait, so they just let us in. This is so cool. I went to the Garden of Love and saw what I never had seen. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, so what is this? I'm so confused. So it is a museum. Oh my god, Marcus would freak out. But there's like stuff in here that has like, yeah, look. I think we can go upstairs and there's like all the places where you can like take pictures. Gretchen, look. I want a scarf so bad. Oh my god. Marcus and Lily, next time we have like a birthday weekend, <laughs> these are the robes we're gonna wear. to the Gucci garden, it was so cool. Marcus would have been like freaking out the whole entire time. I feel like everything in there was so like his vibe and aesthetic. I wish like I could have been there with him. What are these but the museum wasn't an... open. Oh, the what? These guys, this is all, it's like freaking secret service. <laughs> it's a... Oh, there's a private party upstairs right now at the museum. Who's there? I don't know, but there's like somebody upstairs like at the Gucci garden museum something. because there's literally so many guards outside and we like tried to go upstairs and the guy was like, no, 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 like it's closed. And the lady said something and she was like, no, like it's gonna be open tomorrow, like closed for a private party. And we were like, what? And then we were like, okay, like whatever. So we left, but there's definitely someone like important, important upstairs yeah, up because now. like we didn't go up there, so. Whatever, but it's super busy right now in um, town. I think that there's like this soccer game our tour guide was telling oh, us. Oh, a statue. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now we're going to go try to find like the long strip of all of the stores and just do some shopping. I actually just bought a bikini from just like a little store that I saw. I'll show you guys. We are going to... Um, a cool place tomorrow where we needed a bathing suit and I literally didn't bring any bathing suits with me the person who overpacks for every single trip didn't pack enough for this trip right now trying on these little teeny bags and we both were like wait where's our phone gonna take a snapshot and we both put them inside <laughs> just because we feel like this is the perfect bag for going out at night because we can fit our phone in it and literally it has a spot for your cards and your ID so and then it just like clicks and you have everything on you when you're out and like look how convenient that is and you don't even feel like you're wearing anything so everything's right there. You don't have to worry about like holding anything in your pockets. So I am obsessed with this bag. I love and it so much. If you guys get me out of this country, I want this so bad. See, like this is even cute with this dress. <laughs> I hate myself, um, but I love this sweatshirt. I just feel like it's so, I need it. What? <gasps> oh my goodness. Why do you have to do this for me? This is why I do what I do, because I love fashion so much. I need to start making more fashion videos. Oh my gosh, with the belt that you got. Oh. That's oh cool. my gosh, That's this really is cool. so cool. We love. <gasps> oh god, guys. Literally, this see, this outfit is even like, <laughs> me as a mom showing up to the soccer games. I'm like, hi everybody, I'm here. Somebody needs to stop me. I'll show you guys what I got when we get back, but yeah, basically I need to never leave the country ever again and I need to just relax and chill. Once Maggie learned what a tax refund was, <laughs> But we're having lunch at this really cute place that we saw yesterday. Yeah, I know. And I'm getting wet. 
It's super artsy and just like a good vibe. This is super art. Like had the best day ever. I'm so happy. Today. Me too. It's just like good vibes. We're just happy. I know. We're just like happy and like in a good mood and stuff. My April or April spritz, and I'm so like excited to drink it. It tastes really good. I like it because I don't like anything that's sweet, and this is more bitter, so I really like it. And then we all obviously got some water. Oh, and our appetizers are coming. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. Grazie. I've been waiting for this since we got here. I've always wanted to try the cantaloupe and see how it tastes. But we got the cantaloupe and prosciutto appetizer. Such a nice day out. This is the name of the restaurant that we're at. And if you want to come here, it's right next to the carousel in Florence. But yeah, Gretchen just said it. That definitely is the name of it. That's it's so like good. I wish I got yours. I know, mine looks good, but yours is gonna be good on the inside. Yeah, mine has ricotta. So now we're getting cheese. Yes, please. Perfect. Thank you. She just told me that in Italy, they make their pasta al dente. Because she just took a bite of mine, which is penne with um, like a tomato sauce, and my lighting's really bad. I don't know why. I'm posting that on my Snapchat story right now. I knew it would be too. Like, I remember um, when I was visiting Wash at USC, mm -hmm. her friend was abroad from Italy and he was making us pasta. Really? And yeah, and he was like showing how he made it. And I was like, that's so simple and yummy. And he's like, and I'm making it al dente. Like, we always eat pasta al dente. Ooh. Like, isn't, it, isn't it kind of a It's really fun? good. It has like a little crunch. Yeah. This is the coolest Zara I've ever been in. It's all white and it's like six floors. But we are in such a rush because we need to go to our tonight event. But I just want to show you guys quickly what Zara looks like and I'm gonna get a few things that's gonna be in my haul. Um, so we just got to Tuscany and I forgot my sunglasses on. Oh wait, the bus, is that where we are? Tuscany. I didn't even know. Yeah. So I forgot my, we have to go up here, Gretchen, because our group is up here. But yeah, it's really kind of sunny out and hopefully I will be able to see. It's kind of starting to rain a little bit too. But I'm excited to like see what everything looks That's like. That's so pretty over there, man. And then dinner, we're gonna have, like after we're done, like looking through town and stuff. This is the view, our first view that we're stopping at, and this is so pretty, it looks like. The home screen on like a MacBook or like Microsoft. Nice, right, it's so pretty. It's like Gretchen and I in the background of our first computer. That was a funny one. Hmm. This is so pretty, I can always just see what everything else looks like. And there's the bottom I know. We're at this famous gelato place right now called Galleria Dandali and oh my gosh they're so busy in here it's so famous and packed but I need to figure out which one I'm going to get. I think I'm going to get a, a cone this time because I usually get a cup. You're going to get a cup or I think I'm going to get a little cone. I kind of like with that two. cone with the nuts on it. Get one. That's so yummy. I'm going to pick two. This is the best gelato that I've had on this whole entire trip. What kind did you get? I got banana and strawberry. I have okay, Nutella and she goes, it's this one so you know. And I was like, okay, I'll do this one. And this was the one I thought was Nutella. But is it just chocolate? And I think this is just a hazelnut. Oh, damn. Well, they're really so good. good. And it's not as hot, so they're not like it. melting as fast. That one looks drippy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that gelato that we just ate was the best gelato that I've ever had on this whole entire trip. It was so good. Like it doesn't even compare to the ice cream that we have in America. I just feel like it's so good and like flavorful, but like light. Yeah. Gretchen, aren't you glad that you got it? Yeah, like, 
I can't explain to you guys. I was so anti gelato, <laughs> and I was like, you know we're what? Just, like, we've been eating so much. We're in Tuscany. But this is the best gelato I've had mm -hmm. in my entire life. Like, not exaggerating. Even the one last night was like all right, oh, but this yeah. one today was just so good. Like, it was unreal. No wonder this guy is like famous and has won so many awards and stuff from it. But it was so, so, so good. What is? But I was saying this place that we went to was like famous, but I really want to eat a cannoli and tiramisu before mm -hmm. we leave. Mm -hmm. So those are like my next goals while we're here. This is the other side of the view from the top of the hill that we're at in Tuscany. And this is what it looks like. There's like buildings and stuff and it just looks like so cool. I feel like I'm saying that about everything. Gretchen, don't do that. <laughs> It'd be so bad. What are you gonna do, like bring it home? Yeah, I'm gonna give it to my dad. <laughs> my God. dinner right now at the winery and so we have this big long table and you guys can see like up there is where like the grapevines and stuff are and now we're just getting served our dinner and there is this big thing of pesto pasta with like olives and stuff wait what is this Gretchen is this red it's a mix oh okay so we have like a bunch of different wines going around but I don't want any of this so I'm just gonna pass it that way but we have like pesto pasta for dinner mm. oh, it's gonna be so, so good, good. Like I need to try mine like really I'll drink it parmesan Gretchen said you don't eat parmesan they said in Italy it's a big thing for your pasta to get cold and you can wait for it after you eat it it is good. I don't know if you guys heard Gretchen in the background, but um, Tyson, our tour guide, told us that it's a bigger sin for you to sit. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> it's a bigger sin, sin for you guys to sit and let your pasta get cold than eat it right away, like before anybody else gets there. It's really good with olives. Mm hmm. And I love the olives. So we finally just got back from our dinner. I'm like super full right now. I'm a grease muffin. <laughs> Look at my hair. <laughs> I need a shower. And my feet like have a blister on the top. Oh my god. That's from the Tory Burch sandals I was wearing yesterday. But enough complaints. These kind of look cute Italy. with the this skirt that I'm wearing. They do. Um, but I will have all of these items that like I'm wearing, obviously linked down below, like all the other stuff that I'm wearing this trip. Um, but Gretchen and I just got back in our room and we got like invited to go hang out at like the bar area with yeah, like our friends cool and um <laughs> so they invited us to like go hang out with them so I think we're gonna do that but I literally forgot to film when we were at dinner because I don't know I feel like we were just like talking to everybody and like bonding and they literally just gave us pasta bruschetta cheese um like a cheese plate and then like these biscottis to end it like wine and it was just like all of us sitting around talking. So I didn't want to like whip out my camera and be recording the whole time with like people around. I didn't know if they were gonna like be uncomfortable or anything. I just put on this outfit and I put on these Princess Polly like loose pants that you guys saw in a couple of vlogs ago that I had. And do you think people are gonna think I'm copying Gretchen? Because look at my hair. <laughs> so let me know.